Hi, this is Mr. Mack. We're going to try to do a concept here video about binomial distributions. Now, <clears throat> a, you would use a binomial distribution when there's something simple that you're going to do over and over again and there's some way to succeed and some way to fail each time. Um, so uh, binomial distributions are used when there's uh, two possible outcomes. Uh, for example, um, you could um, flip a coin or you could roll a die and when you roll the die you either get want to say I'm going to get a six or I'm not going to get a six that would be a, a binomial um, a, a binomial situation now there will be um, a fixed number of trials in other words you're going to perform the experiment um, more than once in fact many times usually and the um, probability of success doesn't change each time you perform this experiment. And um, each trial is independent. Pretty much like three, and uh, the um, what you're going to observe, your observation is how many successes you have in n trials. Now, um, there is a function to give the probability of, um, say, x successes in n trials in a binomial situation, uh, the probability of x successes uh, in n trials where s is the probability of success on any particular trial and 1 minus s um, usually use something like f f is the probability you won't succeed on any particular trial. Now, realize that uh, f is equal to 1 minus s. In other words, either you're going to succeed or you're not. So if um, s is the probability of success, then 1 minus s is the probability that you won't succeed or probability of f. Now, the formula p of x, if there are n is the number of trials, And you want x to be the number of successes is equal to n c x times s to the x times f to the n minus x. And this will give you um, the probability of exactly x successes uh, in this um, experiment in n trials. Now, um, let's take a look at an example experiment, and uh, uh, let's say we're going to roll a six-sided die, a fair six-sided die, ten times. Uh, ten times. I can do this. And we'll count the number of times we roll a six.
And so then the question is, what is the probability that we'll roll a six uh, twice? Well, according to our formula, it's going to be 10 C2 times 1 sixth to the 2 times 5 sixths to the 8. Now let's just pull up the calculator and see what we get here. Um, 10 C2 times one sixth to the second times five sixths to the eighth. We get two point uh, two nine oh seven. So the probability that we'll roll a six twice in ten rolls is point two nine oh seven. Or about Point, approximately 0.3 if you want to round to the nearest tenth. So um, if we wanted to, we could actually get the probabilities for all of these occurring, um, uh, you know, 0 through 10. And the way we would do that is let's just go into uh, Y1. And in Y1, we're going to put in a, a um, function here, 10 C X times one sixth raised to the X times five sixths raised to the ten minus X. Now, if we set our table to zero, uh, to start at zero with a change in table one and then says second table. Notice the probability of getting no sixes is 0.16. The probability of draw, rolling one six in 10 rolls is 0.32. The probability of rolling two sixes is 0.29. Three is 0.15. Four is 0.05. Five is 0 0.013, 0 0.0027. Now, this actually turns out to be 0 0.000248 and 8, 9, and 10. The probability of rolling a 6 10 times in a row on a fair die is 0 0.000000165, so not very likely. And so that will give us the... Um, um, the uh, what you might call it the a, a binomial distribution. Now, it turns out that we can use the normal distribution to approximate a binomial distribution turns out that um, if um, we're going to use the normal distribution to approximate the binomial distribution, then uh, the following formulas work. X bar is equal to N times S, and the standard deviation is equal to approximately the square root of N times S times F. So. Um, That will, um, oh, uh, by the way, this uh, and this formula, NS, is also um, the, um, up here under the binomial distribution itself, the expected number of, uh, the expected value is equal to NS as well. It turns out that uh, the expected value does turn out to be, over a period of time, the um, average value. So N times S is also um, the expected value for the binomial distribution, then it's the, the mean for the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. And that pretty much takes care of the things that we need to see about the binomial distribution.